want to build a, a five to one mechanical advantage. We know that for a simple mechanical advantage, we've got to have as many lines running down to the load as we want mechanical advantage. So in this case, to get a simple five to one, we've got to have five strands. So basically, our load is at that end. If we just lay out the rope like this, you can see that we now have five lines. So as long as we follow the principles for a simple mechanical advantage, which is that the anchor end pulleys don't move, and the load end pulleys do move, then we'll automatically have a five to one. So laid out like this, I can just set down my pulleys in each of the bites on the rope. Then I can set down the anchor pieces. So this one would connect to that anchor. And then this would connect to the anchor as well. Down here, we'd need one here and one here. Then we need a prusik to attach this pulley to the main line. And then to give a five to one, this also needs to attach to that main line. So be careful here. You've got two different loops, two different pulleys, all coming into one prusik. And that's going to tension the system. And then, of course, to capture any of the rope, we need to now put our tandem prusiks right here on the main line and connect them into our main anchor. So that's how you could lay it out on the ground and see that you're going to have a simple five to one. When we build a nine to one mechanical advantage, basically we're creating a three to one that's acting on a three to one. So three times three gives us a nine to one. So if you remember when we built the five to one, we had five lines coming in. All we have to do to modify that is move this last cord up so that it's acting on this rope and creating a three to one here and another three to one down here. So it's a three to one acting on a three to one. So now, once again, I can just reach up here for a compound nine to one, compound because it's three to one acting on three to one. I'm gonna put my pulleys in those loops. I'm going to attach this pulley to the tree, this pulley to the anchor, this pulley, is going to be attached to the main line with a prusik, a single prusik, and this pulley is going to be attached to this segment of rope with a carabiner and a prusik. So now if you cut this off right here, you'd see a three to one, and it's being acted on by another three to one, which gives us a nine.